Picture this, you're broke, jobless, and at rock bottom, and all your money is riding on one girl in the right corner to win this fight. She's just a high schooler full of ambition going head to head with a world famous MMA fighter. However, the only certainty here is that your bet isn't slow. Well my friend, welcome to the underground fight club of Star Strike It Rich. You won't find Mike Tyson down here, but you sure as hell will find muscle mommies mixed in with some psychopaths. Nazumi is a 27 year old who's running Japan's largest women's fight club, but it's all threatened thanks to one girl, Hina Hongo. The high school girl from the intro is a monster when it comes to fighting, and this is a problem for Nazumi as she hasn't been able to find a worthy opponent to defeat her. And not only that, if she isn't able to find one, Hina won't give up chemical weapons her cult has been storing in Japan. And Nazumi's fight club would shut down from bored viewers, but I think one of these is a little greater than the other. But that aside, how did we get here? Well, it all comes from the success of the creator of Kengen Ashura, How Heavy Are Their Dumbbells You Lift, and this series. All three of these series are deeply tied together, so keep that in mind for later. Let's rewind the clock to the beginning of Nazumi's career. Initially, Nazumi was a rising star in women's pro mixed martial arts until an injury to her eye retired her from the league indefinitely, leading her to no other choice than entering underground fighting to follow her passion, even getting fired from that. But she wasn't bad at it. On the contrary, she was was fantastic. However, her only issue was that she was really, really, really boring. As Nazumi's boss put it, she would routinely go over 40 minutes until her opponent would tap out, which angered the audience. And that's understandable because when you're going to an illegal underground fight club, you expect to see bloodshed. So after getting fired, she decides to go on a drinking bender with all her old friends from her MMA days. Iori Ichika, a crooked cop in the Metro PD Juvenile Division, and Mitani Hana, a crime boss in one of the weakest families of the Yakuza. And after some drinks start pouring, a flash of genius strikes Nazumi. When walking outside the bar they were at they see a bunch of street thugs getting together for a fight. A huge brawl breaks out and the girls not thinking much of it all go their separate ways. Now as Nazumi was about to go to sleep it hit her. When life gives you lemons you start your own underground fighting league. So she and her loser friends were happy to cook up this new venture. First Iori the crooked cop gathers all the local punks who are into fighting. Next they get a venue to host the fight thanks to the Yakuza. And after they get some girls to rack in the cash from all the betting and drinking at the fights. Which not only are these fights brutal but they make a lot of money. They start as amateur fights, something you'd see in Fight Club. Just a bunch of girls mindlessly throwing out punches. However, down the line, Nazumi needs more. Her show needs more flair, more cute girls. That's when they unknowingly recruit Japan's most dangerous schoolgirl, Hina Hongo. What, that girl? You could probably fold her with your thumb. Well, that's what you would think. After hearing this news, the crew drives to and stakes out Hina's school to monitor the girl. Iori describes that behind Hina's smile is a terrifying person from the file she pulled up. Hina was adopted by a cult leader named Takahashi Chogen of an ultra-militant religious group known as the Army of God. They plotted to overthrow the Japanese government threatening them with chemical weapons. All the cult members including Hina received special military training day in and day out. So after the death of their leader and the arrest of most of the members, Hina was kept under government surveillance until suspiciously her case was closed. But an anonymous member of the cult stated that their leader Takahashi only started calling to violence after adopting Hina. And after all that yapping, Nazumi jumps out of the van that they're watching Hina from. And you can't make this up, she just starts swinging at Hina, this girl that she's never met. But in a turn of events, Hina blocks all the attacks and counters them. The girl moves like a monster. Before either of them sustains any serious injury, Hina is unexpectedly tased from behind, where they move her to an abandoned warehouse for questioning. It's there that the crew resorts to blackmail, threatening Hina with jail for her alleged attack against the officer, unless she agrees to fight in their underground fighting league. He agrees saying that it'll be really fun, however she quickly turns turns the tables asserting that their lives now lie in her hands, her vibe giving off a menacing aura. I gotta say, that gave me goosebumps the way she stood up, took off her cuffs, and is still smiling at them. You can't tell me that's a human there, and quickly the crew comes to that realization too. Once she joined the underground fights, attendance and money coming in skyrocketed. Match 1, knockout. Match 2, knockout. Match 3, knockout. Quickly, they came to the realization that the average street thugs aren't going to cut it for Hina. Even Hina states that if they manage 
managed to bring a fighter that's stronger than her, she wouldn't mind giving up some of the chemical weapons that the army of God has hidden away. Now Nazumi is not only scared for her business, but her safety. So she creates a 5 million yen tournament, which comes out to like $33,000, bringing in some of the finest fighters in the underground fighting scene. Two muscle mistresses by the name of the Sena sisters, and an ancient martial artist known as Yuzuha Lee. Now this is when an interesting dynamic gets implemented. We finally have some girls that can go toe to toe other than Nazumi against Hina. The first fight is especially exciting against the youngest Senna sister. She's able to get a good amount of shots on Hina. Both are going blow to blow with each other. Not like those one-sided street fights. It feels like the youngest Senna sister has a real chance at winning this tournament. Until she busts out a Mortal Kombat combo. Fucking the air out of the girl and putting her into a pin and breaking her arm. The Revolution Princess seemed unstoppable. It's when Yusuha Lee steps into the ring, putting Hina in her place. Absorbing hits, taking hits, even brutally crushing Hina's foot. Not recommended if you're squeamish because the panel is pretty gross. It does put her down for the count. Now as you're thinking everything is coming to an end for Hina, she unexpectedly pulls out an ace, knocking out the martial artist cold. It truly fulfills the brutality that Hina and the spectators were looking for. Even after all the damage she takes, Hina is left at the top of the tournament. Satisfied, she still got a great fight out of it, but this only serves as a temporary band-aid for Nazumi. Yes, the spectators and Hina were happy, but where can we find equal or better fighters than them? At the last chapter currently out, we find out that Hina wasn't bluffing. Chemical weapons did arrive at the police station where Yori works, leaving us on a great cliffhanger and arc. But do you remember earlier how I mentioned the series was deeply tied to other works like Kengen Ashura and How Heavier the Dumbbells You Lift? Well, all of these are Yabako Sandrovich's works. They all take place within the same world and the fans know it as the Kengenverse. His series Kengen Ashura, Kengen Omega, How Heavier the Dumbbells You Lift, Star Strike It Rich, and Fist of the Seeker have all featured each other's characters and events in one way or another. Examples? Oma lost the food eating contest against Habiki. Machio is shown as a Kengen fighter. One of the girls from Dumbbells, Storian Akami, is Sorian Shion's sister. She's the board chairwoman of the Kill Academy group, a member of the Kengen Association, and the ex girlfriend of Hatsumi Sen. The cast of Dumbbells was seen in Star Strike at Rich for a panel. Another character from Dumbbells, Sekabashi Jun, is in Kengen as he secretly fights underground. Kure Yakuja, the cute school teacher in Dumbbells, is actually the mother of Kure Karua, the murderous assassin who's engaged with Oma. Now I'd list all the cameos, but that's for another video. But why does this matter? Well, after going through some of the spoilers with you, so far no one has been able to beat Hina. It's alluded that Nazumi can as they've gone toe to toe, but there's a certain group that can step in and challenge her. The Kengen matches from Kengen Asher and Kengen Omega. Basically, the Kengen matches are underground fights implemented over 300 years before the events of Kengen Asher. Their purpose is to settle disputes and business deals between large corporations, organizations, and businesses by sending fighters to determine the victor and organize fights. It's a long shot that they'd actually implement this, but it makes sense that Hina would go against some of these high-end fighters. I'll be honest, I wasn't too familiar with Yabako Sandrovich's works other than the Dumbbell series, but this quickly made me fall in love and a new universe has opened up, so I look forward to binging Kengen Ashura and his other works. This will definitely be an anime in the near future, so claim your early ticket now. I can't wait to see what happens in the future of this early series. So after binging all 16 chapters in one night, I'm glad to have blessed you, Familia. Share your thoughts down below, and I'll catch you later. Adios.